Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from Quilters Workshop and today I'm going to be making a diaper wreath which is going to be used as a decoration at an upcoming baby shower that I'm hosting and I just thought that it would be a cute decoration, um, also help guests um, identify my house and also be a practical thing that uh, the mom can take home afterwards and use. So I bought two of these um, wreath bases I guess. They're 14 inch ones and I got those at the Dollar Tree so those were $1.25 a piece. And then I have some curl sheen ribbon, some larger ribbon and then I also have a pack of the Pampers size 1 diapers. So I'm not actually sure how I'm going to do this yet. I'm going to just try it and see how it goes. I wanted to do this one off camera so that I could kind of figure it out. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out actually. Like considering it doesn't have to be perfect it's only going to be on my door for like a couple of hours so i'm going to film how i did it now if i can figure out where to put this okay so hopefully this can be seen so i have some that have the characters on and then also some that just say pampers across them so i'm going to kind of try to alternate those a little bit and um We'll just sort of see what happens. So I kind of forget how I started it, to be honest with you. And this is going to be a little bit different because the ribbon is different. This is the wired edged kind, but I sort of scrunched the diaper like this. And then just picked a starting point. Actually, this will be easy because I can wrap that around there just to hold on until I get back to the end. And then I'll deal with that after. But then I just went uh, around it like that once. Man, it's always hard when you have to do something a second time, isn't it? Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm going to grab a different one, scrunch it, place it, and then bring the ribbon in between the diapers, up and over the new diaper that you're adding. Hopefully I'm getting this in. And then just bring the ribbon back through. And then what I ended up doing was I played with mine a lot afterwards to try to even things out. And they don't have to look too perfect. Here we go up and over. Together, adjust the height if you need to. At this point, I'm worried about running out of ribbon, but I'm also worried about running out of diapers now that I'm on my second one. Just be like when you run out of yarn and you try to like switch and use a little bit of leftover something similar and like blend. <laughs> so this spool just for reference was nine feet. The last spool that I used was 14 feet. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So if you get a 14 inch wreath like the one that I'm using, you need to get two rolls of ribbon if they're only nine feet of ribbon inside. So, okay, so we need to tie on here. 
Hopefully, I'm gonna have enough of this one. flip it over and try to fasten this all together. I don't quite have enough to do this. That should be all right. It looks nice and neat on the back though, doesn't it? That's pretty good. Okay, now we'll just try to fluff this a little. Even the change of ribbon isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. So there's our two little wreaths. And I think it's fun because I'll probably put a bow on it. Maybe that'll help cover up my like transition of a different color Hang on your door or you can put these inside at a shower as well I think that would be totally cute actually this would be kind of fun as like a centerpiece if you put like a diaper cake in there or like a stuffy or you could even tie bear into there when you put it on your door or like some sort of a baby toy or something like that actually you could have strung along little pacifiers or something or anything really how cute is that? I'm really happy with them. I just lost the last clip that I was filming, but anyway, I've just got it hanging off of the doorknob right now. Obviously, they're gonna go on proper wreath hooks on my front door, but I added a bow. Okay, so I'm using this like satiny ribbon, and I cut about a meter of it, so about 39 inches. And what I'm doing, just wanna make sure that you guys can see. You're going to find the center of it, so fold it oops, about in half like that, find the top. Then I usually go down about a third of the way from the top. You're going to want to make an X with the ribbon like this so that it looks like the type of ribbons that they use for um, like the breast cancer symbol. Then you're going to pinch the loop at the top and bring that down to the X that you made and just hold that with your thumb. Now, if you don't like it, like I should probably compare to the other one. I think my loops need to be bigger. So for my loop to be bigger, I'm just going to move my X so that it's in the right place and then try again. Bring the top of the loop down. Grab with your thumb. I think that's probably about right. Then you're going to scrunch all the center of it. Oh gosh, I look a little wonky over here. It's the other one. So then I also need a piece of a skinnier ribbon. So I'm actually just using a little piece of curl sheen that works just fine. I'm actually going to redo this again because I just feel like I'm not holding it properly. Okay, that's a bit better. So then you're going to take the skinnier ribbon that you have. Hopefully maybe you have like one that matches a little bit better on hand, but this curl sheen will work. Just fine for this. You can also use floral wire. A lot of people use that for making bows. Then pull that tight. 
then you can fluff it and sort of make sure that your sides are even and all that good stuff. And then on this one, I'm just going to find the beginning, which is up and over here. And I'm going to just feed my leftover ends of the curl sheen under these loops of ribbon that I had on the wreath. Hopefully you can see what I did. I just went under there. And then with my tail on this side, so I just left these bits on, I didn't cut that off. Then I'm also going to go under this one as well. And then pull this up. There you go. And fluff that a little bit. Tie this in a knot. Then you can trim off the ends a little bit. Actually, I'm going to tuck them behind first. And then give them a trim. Okay, now the bottoms of the ribbon, I'm going to fold it in half like this and then cut from the open edge towards the fold on a 45. like that to make the little pleat or the little point sorry do the same thing on the other side put the folded edge away from me always and there we have it look how sweet that is now I think these are really nice not only because of the functionality but because there's a lot of options to customize them more so they're sort of what they're going to look like side by side on my door Oh, that's so cute. Well, thank you very much for watching and hopefully you check out my baby shower video that I'm going to be posting once I'm setting up for the shower, just showing how I ended up decorating and things like that. And as always, all of my social media links are always listed in the down bar where I post much more frequently. And my email is also listed there. So if you'd like to reach me, you can send me an email at quilters.workshop at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching.